Hello everybody, it's the Doctor. Welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online, free to play. Now that we have done all these things, we are led to the last mission on Nimbus 3 called Installation 18. I had to pick it up in the last video so that we could do the little Tal Shiar thing. It says, everything points to the communications array as the hub of Tal Shiar activity on Nimbus 3. There have also been reports of disappearances in the vicinity, and they have to be related. The Tal Shiar have been taking people from all over. Makes sense that they're doing it here too. It's time to find out what's going on inside that comm array. Get ready, Commander. I don't think this is going to be easy. <laughs> Let's go and begin. Installation 18. Sir, this facility could be the key to understanding what the Tal Shiar are doing on this planet. This is about more than the Thaleron triggers. If it wasn't, they would have left once they learned the triggers were gone. We need to get inside and find out what their real goals are. Any ideas of where to go from here? This looks like an elevator, so my guess is that we head down. If the Tal Shiar are going through this much trouble to hide and isolate this facility, it's a sure bet that they'll be guarding it. As soon as the Tal Shiar know we're here, we'll be fighting for our lives. A stealth approach would be best, and if any alarms trigger, we need to deal with them quickly. So we are actually inside the satellite on our way underground. They have a whole installation underground. Pretty crazy. Hidden in a satellite. And here we go. This is where the fun begins. Okay, we gotta shut these alarms off because they cause more people to beam in if we don't. We don't have all the data yet, Commander, but the Tal Shiar seem to be conducting experiments here. We should investigate. Any proof we can get of the Tal Shiar wrongdoing is valuable. Investigate the sealed rooms. Kind of mysterious. Definitely testing tables. Tal Shiar are up to no good. Sir, what happened in there? The test subjects are reacting well to the indoctrination procedures. They're indoctrinating subjects. We had a few casualties as we expected. But those that survived should be able to start phase three by the end of the week. People are fighting each other. Alarm is sounding. Let's disable that alarm. Okay, it's been shut down. They're forcing people to fight. Proceed carefully. This patient hasn't responded well to the treatments. Watch those levels. He's going critical. And it, a, uh, well, I almost said what it was, but we don't know what it is yet. What did we just see? Are the Talshiar experimenting on people? What could they possibly hope to accomplish with these atrocities? We need to press forward to find out. It's time for answers. Tricorder readings say the room up ahead is a laboratory. We should take a look. We might find out more about what's going on here. So some weird alien. There's test subjects. They're fighting each other. What is going on here? Got weird aliens with silver eyes. Flanking damage detected. Crystal shield losing power. Shut 
shut this alarm off. Help the test subjects. Who, who are you? Are you here to hurt me again? Please, I'll tell you anything. Just tell me what you want. Calm down, tell me what they've done to you. There were lights and voices. Voices in my head. They were thoughts, but they weren't mine. That wasn't the worst of it. They hurt me, cut me. One time they amputated my hand, and two days later they put it back. There were procedures, and I was awake. I could feel everything. I think they were doing some sort of tests, but I don't know what they were for. I just want out of here. We'll send you someplace safe. No, 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 no. Make it stop. Make it stop. We're here to help. We won't hurt you. Ah, they come in the night. I woke up and one of them was standing over my bed. How did it get in my room? What does it want? I want to go home. Does not sound good. Do not want. We'll get this person last. The light. It hurts my eyes. Can you turn it down, please? It's too bright in here. I was in a shuttle. There were tall Shi'ar attacking my colony. There was a blinding light and a noise that vibrated the cabin like it was coming apart. Then there was blackness. I woke up here. They keep asking me questions. Questions about things I don't know. Why didn't they just let me die? Let's get out of here. So his name is Slomic. Let's keep a... Let's uh, remember that name. This is Rena Kev. You're not Tal Shiar, are you? Are you here to take me home? Yes, tell me who you are. My name is Rena, Rena Kev. I was working on a freighter, the Usiken. We haul anything that we can make some latinum with. We had an offer to take a load of Tekasite to Gasco Station. My captain didn't like it. We'd heard that there was trouble in that area, but we needed the work, so the Tal Shiar were waiting for us. Captain Sir let them board, said they could inspect our cargo and manifest, but they, they killed him. And then they started shooting everyone else. I didn't know what they kept, why they kept me alive, but they kept asking me questions about terrorists, about the Republic, about my brother. They say he did such awful things, that he smuggled weapons and killed people. But I know him, I know none of it's true. They're the ones who are evil. Let's get out of here. Sir, I think we need to get the person responsible for this madness here so we can confront him. There's a communication center in the facility. I'm sure the operatives were in regular contact. If we send some false messages, perhaps we can convince them to make an appearance. And perhaps these people will stop shooting at me. When I'm trying to read messages. Investigate Communication Center. Shut off this alarm. Okay, examine communication mainframe. Access rights read only. Please make a selection from the following menu. View message operative 589482 status update. To Colony Hakib from operative. Hassan of the Orion Syndicate was in possession of Thalon trigger devices, but I was unable to procure them. Calm chatter and interrogation of some Hassan's workers have revealed that the triggers were purchased by a splinter group of Remans. I have analyzed all traffic in and out of the Nimbus system, and a Reman vessel fled during the attempted raid by Hassan's fleet. All indications are that the triggers are off-planet now. From Colonel Hawkeev. Establish a base on the surface of Nimbus 3. Find and acquire Thaleron triggers believed to be in the possession of Orion Syndicate operative. Note, it is imperative to keep Thaleron weapons out of the hands of our enemies. Keeping vital components for building these weapons off the open market is a continuing goal of the Tal Shi'ar. 
Prisoners of value will be sent to Installation 18, combining Ilachi interrogation and mind control techniques with our holographic conditioning has proven to be very successful in test cases. That research will continue at Installation 18. Several Alachi will be at the facility to, facility to facilitate this research. Prisoners who successfully resist combined conditioning will be given to the Alachi for their use. Take control of supply lines on Nimbus 3 currently being run by the Orion Syndicate. The population of Nimbus 3 relies on outside supplies for survival. Being the sole supplier of these goods will give us control of the planet without having to resort to a military solution. So the Alachi, and a race called the Alachi, are in line with the Tal Shiar. So we need to... We need to... See what the password is here. Epsilon, okay. And then read would be something. 13, okay. Right would be 3. And then, oops. Uh, the last one starts with a 3. So that would be this one. There you go. Return to root. Read, write access. Please make a selection from the following menu. Um, status update. Um, open for editing. Make changes. See, let's see what the changes say. Hassan of the Orion Syndicate was in possession of Thaleron. I was able to procure them. The triggers were purchased for a modest fee and are ready for pickup from some of Hassan's workers located in the Nimbus system. All indications are that the triggers are in good condition. Ooh, we're gonna trick them into coming. Sir, new life signs dead ahead and they're not like anything we've seen before. Our Romulan allies have shared some data on a species known as the Alachi that have been attacking Republic settlements. These life signs are a match, and they're working with the Tal Shiar. Perhaps we should attempt to detain one for questioning. So this Alachi, a very important race of beings that are in line with the Tal Shiar. Not a good thing. Hello. Oh crap, I'm dying. I'm dead. Somebody, oh, all my bridge officers are dead. Eliza, no, Tavrell, save us all. <laughs> Tavrell, no, Tavrell, you're dying too. Oh my gosh. Enemy targets on sensors. Everybody's gone. <laughs> Oh, crap. I saw that coming. Now everybody's dead. Okay, come on, guys. Wake up. Come back to life. Where's Eliza? Get her up. Come on. These guys are difficult. Let's take out the commander. Or let's take out this Alachi. I don't know which one to take out first. Both of them. The Alachi Beta is stunned. Quickly contain it in a force field. Now we have you. If you want to get out of here alive, you'll answer our questions. Let's start with something simple. Stop him. Oh crap, he blew himself up. Sir, that thing decided to kill itself rather than answer any of our questions. Why would it do that? I wish we could have learned more, but it looks like your plan worked. The Prometheus reports that an entire Tal Shiar fleet has arrived in orbit to respo in response to the message we sent. Return to your ship. This is it. This is the final battle of Nimbus. Get some space action going on. Sir, we're being held by the flagship of the Tal Shiar fleet. <sighs> Who are you? 
Hakim. Will you be missed by anyone after I remove you from this universe? Yeah, maybe. Incoming hail from our new friends, Commander. Answer pirate hail. Good fight. I'm sure you're willing to turn a blind eye to a little salvage operation, are you? There's another hail coming in, sir. Answer Federation hail. Always glad to offer a fellow Starfleet officer. This is a... We get a pack lid, Captain. Nimbus will be safer once the Tal Shiar are gone. Commander, Colonel Hakeev is selling us again. This fight no longer interests me. Now that you've met my new allies, the Alachi, you understand just how precarious your position is. Run while you can. Hmm. So now we gotta fight the Tal Shiar. Awesome. Here's our new space ability. We don't even have time to look at it right now. Oh crap, oh man, I'm dead. I am dead. Dead, Fred. Wow. My ship cannot handle this battle. Let's take on some lighter ships. Take out this Mogai. I don't know why I keep doing that torpedo buff. It doesn't work on the Harpang. Right Ow! Nice, there we go. That was kind of rough. Did a lot of damage to my hull. The Tal Shiar fleet has been destroyed, sir. Nimbus 3 will be better off without their influence, as would the Romulan Star Empire. Suggest we head back to the surface and wrap things up. Nice. Okay, let's see. Talk to Horace Jones. Hey there, friend. Let's see. What's the see? Have you heard the news? What's been going on around here? I've been hearing strange reports that something major went down at the satellite array in the desert. Did you have anything to do with that? Mm, there was a secret Talshiar base there. I might have had something to do with that. I heard a Talshiar boss man showed up in response to your actions. Is that true? You don't need to worry about any Talshiar coming here anymore. Dang. <laughs> you sure know how to get things done. People had their doubts about you, Commander, but you showed them. Hassan's gone, the Gorn have been put in their place, and now the Tal Shiar too? This keeps up and Nimbus 3 will be a right nice place to live. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got some Latinum to collect from 2 of 8. I've been betting on you the entire time. Enjoy your winnings! If you need it, I've got it! Accolade complete, Wasteland. We have now finished the Nimbus storyline. But we need to turn the mission in first, obviously. I knew the Tal Shia were bad, but mind control? Alien experiments? Who knows what else they were doing to those poor people. The Alachi have to be stopped. I'll start making plans. This is Frank Franklin Drake, by the way. Um, we're going to get expertise to lithium. Piercing Tetrion dual cannons, Mark 6. And then piercing dual Tetrion beam bank, Mark 6. Nimbit, Nimbit. What the heck is a Nimbit? Nimbus Pirate Distress Call. This is going to be beneficial. I'll go over this because this is going to definitely help us in space battles. And we get to pick a warp core. We get to finally upgrade our warp core to something better. So let's pick the Field Stabilizing Warp Core Mark 6. We'll look at those stats too. Collect reward. Congratulations, Commander. And we level up. 
Triolis. Uh, no, that's a thing. Okay. That's it. We are done with Nimbus. The next storyline that we do actually begins the Romulan stuff. So Wasteland is a good introduction into the Romulan storyline because we're going to be dealing with the Alachi and the Tal Shiar and all of that in the Romulan storyline. So Nimbus or the Wasteland was a really good intro to that. All right, the next thing I want to do is to go to ESD and just do a little bit of house cleaning before we start the next mission because we got some some house cleaning stuff to do here. Some things to upgrade, some things to look at. We are Commander 28. We are two... <clears throat> excuse me. We are two away from 30. So literally, I think two missions will take us to 30. We're, we're very close to 29. So two missions will definitely take us to 30. See, where will that put us? Heading out, which is not really a mission, that's just a little intro. So Impressila, and then I think after Desperate Measures, we will be level 30 and we can get a new ship. So we can at least get a couple of more missions in on this ship. The reason why I just say all that is because we haven't done a lot of missions with this particular ship. We're using the Heavy Escort because most of the Nimbus missions were ground. So we're almost 30 and it's almost time to get the next level ship. But we haven't even done much with this ship. That's just the way it goes. You could continue to use the ship at level 30, but who's gonna do that? Every time it's time to get a new ship, you're going to want to get a new ship, even if you haven't used the ship you've had that well. We have gone through, we have flown through level 20 to 30. I mean, it has gone pretty fast. I am shocked, but it has. Let's go to Earth. So like I said, I'm gonna save up all my energy credits for when we hit 30 and use that to get like Mark 7 and Mark 8 equipment on my ship because I really wanna upgrade my ship next. I wanna work on it a little bit. And then I should still have enough left over to help my bridge crew by giving them some Mark 7 or 8 weapons. So what I'm going to do is first pick out, let's just do that. Look at that. I'm almost up to 13,000 dilithium now. Let's pick out the things I do want to keep. Because there are some things here that are worthwhile. This is the Nimbus Pirate Distress Call. This signals for a strike team of three Nimbus Pirate vessels in space to assist you for 35 seconds. This is a good ability to have. It's got a 15 minute cooldown, but it's an incredible ability to have because when you pop the Nimbus Pirates, they will heal you with hull and shield. They will heal you. So they will they will do damage but they to the enemy, but they will also heal you, which is really nice. Okay, now the weapons that I've been using are phaser-based energy type, and the consoles I have to buff that are phaser energy damage, except I've only got this one, it's a mark two, so barely anything really. Um, but I have just been given a nice Tetrion weapon. I've been given Piercing Tetrion from this reward. I've been given a dual cannon and a dual and a and a beam bank. A dual beam bank. Instead of just a single phaser array, I've got been given a dual beam bank. It would behoove me to perhaps go Tetrion at level 30 because I can use these two items. Even though they're only Mark VI, and I will be able to use Mark VIII equipment, they are rare items, first of all. So they have that rareness. They, are, they will be more powerful. And they are piercing. They have that, it's basically an extra modifier called piercing. Piercing. See, this weapon has been specially modified to combat the advanced shielding technology of Alachi ships by giving it a chance to pierce deflector shields. So that's what it does. So, I might, and since, and since I've only got one of these TAC consoles, it's not like I'm really heavily relying on phaser damage. So I think that I might go Tetrion for captain level at level 30. I think so. That way I can use these items and that means I won't have to buy more items, spending more money I, I won't have. 
I can also use this warp core, even though it's Mark VI, it's a good warp core. It's got 7.5 additional shield power. It's got maximum shield power, allows your shield power to exceed 125. And also a faster Starship driver coil, so we can travel faster in sector space. But it's that shield power I'm looking at. That's really going to benefit our escort here, because we're like glass cannons is the uh, analogy that people use. And so anything to like buff it up in shield or hull will be good. Okay, in addition to that, let's see if there's anything else I can use here. Remember, I'm just trying to not have to spend as much money as I have to. This is a quantum torpedo. It's only a Mark VI, but I may retire the Harpang and go with a torpedo I can actually modify with like uh, torpedo spread or high yield to torpedo. So I want to be able to use, you know, a, an ability on a torpedo, and I can't do that with the Harpang. So I think I'm going to retire the Harpang. I think it's time, and I think I'm going to go with a quantum torpedo. We'll go with a Tetrion energy build with a quantum torpedo on this next, and that quantum torpedo is going to do more damage than the regular torpedo. So I'll keep this for now. I may get a better one than that. I may get a Mark seven or eight level but we'll keep that just in case i don't find one or that we'll, we'll see that could work anyway this shield is a regular shield array so it's not anything special it's just a regular shield array but it has a regeneration on it shield regeneration every six seconds let's keep it and we'll see we'll compare that with something else this is a mark six science kit so that definitely is not going to help us uh, everything else here I think I'm going to sell because I'm going to upgrade pretty much everything else. Yeah, there's nothing here else I want to keep. So let's go sell these things. And then from the next two missions we should definitely be getting a lot more energy credits as well. Let's keep that, keep that. Let's get rid of that, 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 that. Sell, sell, sell. Mmm, I could go with plasma torpedo instead of instead of quantum. This is a Mark VI crit D plasma torpedo. Is that doing more damage than the quantum? See, this is 281 DPS and the plasma. No, I think the quantum is higher. Yeah. Let's stick with the quantum for right now. We'll compare it because we'll look around anyway for other things. May end up getting an even better quantum than that one, but we'll just wait and see. Gonna get rid of the plasma. I could have gone plasma, I guess, because I did get some plasma weaponry, but I only got a turret and a beam array. Not as good. Not as good for the build I'm going for. Okay. And I got a lockbox I'm not gonna need. I got this satellite code. So we're up to 92,487 energy credits. Not a whole lot, but enough to upgrade my ship with. And what I'll do is when I get to 30, I'll actually sell these pieces and that'll give me more energy credits on top of that. And then of course we got two more missions to do. That'll put some energy credits on top of that. So I should have, you know, over 100,000, maybe 150,000 energy credits to upgrade my ship stuff to like mark seven or eight that'll be nice that'll be nice and then i'm going to go with and use these piercing tetrion i'm going to use the dual beam bank on the front i'm going to have a dual beam bank and i'm going to have the dual cannons these dual cannons will will fire pretty fast they're not dual heavy cannons but i will have that and a torpedo and if i had another forward weapon slot I could put another cannon up there, like a dual heavy cannon. We'll see. I'm not sure if the next ship has another weapon slot or not, but we'll find out. So I'm going to keep these things right now, 
until we get to 30 and then we'll evaluate everything. So that takes us up to there. That's a good setup for now. I'm just going to keep everything else the same. I'm not going to spend any money. I'm still, I still haven't put in the skill points. I got a lot to spend right now and I'm uh, waiting to upload these videos so I can get some feedback from you guys on where I should put them next. So I finished out the warp core potential, but then I've, I don't know where to go next. I am thinking personally personally maybe PS generator to increase my shield hit points on the ground and maybe shield systems on my ship to give me shield hit points in space so that's what I'm thinking starship shield systems for space to give me shield hit points in space and then PS generator on ground to give me shield hit points on ground I'm that's what I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna go with Maybe electroplasma systems after that. Because increasing the power transfer rate will really help on the escort. Maybe. You guys can tell me and let me know. Maybe starship maneuvers. That's going to increase my defense. That's important on an escort. I may go that route. So, we'll see. Well, at this point, guys, that ends this. And uh, we will begin the Romulan story after we get back after this uh, next mission here so i look forward to that thanks for watching stay tuned for the next one